Hello friends, to find out the square of 95, which is 95 multiplied by 95 is as easy as writing 9025. Would you like to know how? Then watch this video. In this tutorial, you are going to see how to square numbers that end with 5. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. The technique that we will discuss in this video is how to instantly square numbers whose last digit is 5. That is, we can square all those numbers which end with 5. Say something like 5, 25, 35, 65, 125, 1125 or it can be any long but the last digit should be 5. Remember, squaring means multiplying the number with the same number. So, when I say 5 square is 5 into 5. So, this result 25 is called the square of 5. So, let us see how to apply this Vedic mathematic trick which is very very simple and it makes it very easy to calculate it in your mind within a few seconds. So let's find out square of 35. It's going to be 35 into 35. That's how we calculate, isn't it? So let's start by separating the number 5 which is on the right hand side with the rest of the numbers. In our case, we only have two digits. So other than 5, there is only 3 that is left. First, multiply 5 into 5 which is going to be 25. Then multiply 3 and add 3 to 1, it's going to be 4. So 3 into 4, that's going to be 12. The result is 1, 2, 2, 5, 1225. That's going to be our result. That's how simple it gets to square a number ending with 5. Wasn't that easy? Let's try another example. Let's find out the square of 55, which is 65 into 65. So that will be 5 into 5 is 25 and then 6 into 6 plus 1. Let me write it down. 6 into 6 plus 1, which is going to be 6 into 7, which is equal to 42. If you prefix this 42 with 25, that's going to be the result. It is the square of 65 is 4225 that is 4225 is our answer. Let me go with another example. Let us find the square of 95 which is 95 multiplied by 95. So if we split the number we are going to get 25 which is 5 into 5 and then 9 into 9 plus 1 it's going to be 9 into 10 which is 90 and that's our result isn't that very easy in the next example let's try with a three digit number which is 135 let us find the square of 135 so that's going to be 135 into 135 so 5 into 5 is 25 13 into 13 plus 1 which is going to be 13 into 14 and the and that is 182. So 18,225 is the answer. That is the square of 135 is 18,225. I'm going to share another trick. You can see the card over here. You can click on that. In that video, I, I, I will explain another trick. And that trick will make multiplying 13 into 14 very, very simple. This formula of Vedic mathematics works for any such numbers whose last digits add up to 10 and the remaining digits are the same. The same formula works while squaring numbers ending with 5 because when you square two numbers ending with 5, the right and most digits add to 10 and the remaining digits are the same. The technique of squaring numbers ending with 5 is a very popular technique. In Vedic mathematics, there is an extension to this principle which is not known to many people. This formula of Vedic mathematics tells us that 
the rule is not only applicable to the numbers ending with 5 but also to the multiplication of numbers whose last digits add to 10 and the remaining digits are same thus there are two conditions necessary for this multiplication the first condition is that the last digits should add up to 10 and the second condition is that the remaining digits should be the same so let us have a look at a few more examples with this other type of numbers let us now try with multiplying 66 with 64 the same trick applies here too the only rule is that the last two digits should add up to 10 and the remaining two digits should be the same so here if we add 6 plus 4 it comes up to 10 and the other two digits here which is 6 they both are the same so now 6 into 4 is 24 on the left hand side whatever the digits that are left which is 6 over here so 6 into 6 plus 1 which is going to be 6 into 7 that is 42 so the answer is 4224 the same trick worked here too because the right hand most digits add to 10 that is 6 plus 4 is 10 and then the left hand side digits are same now let, let's try with a three digit number that is 122 into 128 so here on the right hand side we have 2 plus 8 which is going to be 10 on the left hand side we have 12 and 12 they both are same so now i'll start with 8 into 2 which is going to be 16 and 12 into 12 plus 1 which is going to be 12 into 13 and that's equal to 156 so the answer is 15616 isn't that simple so before ending the video let me go with one more example with four digits here i'm going to multiply 1103 with 1107 if you notice the last two digits 7 into 3 will come up to 21 the next step is 110 into 111 I have another video showing how to multiply a number with a one series number which will which is going to make uh, it easy to multiply 110 into 111 you can check that out later on 110 into 111 which is going to be 12,210 and this is our final answer that's it for this video in the next video I am going to come up with another trick from Vedic Mathematics Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.